The software is essentially a review and visualization tool that can handle any type of images, whether MRI, CT, or any conventional CT or conventional imaging as well, and allows the user not only to browse through regular images like you would do with a regular workstation, but allows you also to do a lot of 3D rendering and multi-dimensional rendering tools that are particularly useful for surgeons and for orthopedic surgeons in particular. This is an example of a whole body CT scan that you can get today from high resolution multi-slice CTs that has the resolution that allows you to move inside the whole body in real time. And again, these images are not pre-recorded. They are calculated in real time by the computer. It's actually running on an Apple computer, Macintosh computer, and allows you to really go in details in different areas of the body. And you have a full freedom of manipulating, enlarging, and zooming into areas of interest that you might be interested in, in seeing. So the whole concept here is really to allow users that are not specialists in imaging to be able to manipulate and handle the images. And it's particularly useful for pre-operating uh, and uh, treatment planning and surgical planning that you may have to do in your, uh, in your uh, daily work. Preoperative planning is uh, one of the most important steps uh, in uh, taking care of such complex fractures. I have a case of a 19-year-old male who had a very bad open pilon fracture. Does the software let you go in different planes that you personally decide to create? Absolutely. From standard CT images, which are fine uh, slices, we can generate different planes. We usually use these three views, what we call MPR, multi-planar reformatting, which are axial, coronal, and sagittal, which you can browse through any, any way you want. You can go and visit any side of the, of the fracture, do some better views of that. So we've seen uh, multi-planar reconstructions. Now, uh, are we able to see the fracture from the outside? to see its surface. So you can do 3D rendering, traditional 3D rendering, and the software also has a very interactive view. These are images that are generated from those images, which you can change the same way, go zoom, what we call navigate through these complex images, go for details, so you can really move things around. And, and go and, and look at them. You can also change the contrast of the soft tissue. You can bring back soft tissues or, or change the contrast of those images by bringing what, what skin could be. You can see that you can change from the muscle to the skins. You can move this around, see that it's really an open fracture. You can see the skin here with fragments coming out and you can change the contrast and, and look at these in any orientation. So would the software let me generate my own movie of the fracture? Absolutely. You can record all this, which what we call a fly-through, and these images can be recorded step by step. You can open sort of a small scenario and say, I want this, this image to be recorded. You say plus. These recordings can be saved so they can be taken with you in the operating room and you can run them real time after you have been recording them. Ozarix allows you to call somebody and have a video conference with a radiologist or a specialist. Okay, Antoine, good morning. Could you show us uh, your images and uh, interpretation of the CT scan that we were discussing a while ago about that patient? Yes, sure. Good morning, Hosnan. So I would like to show you this interesting case. I will switch to Ozarix. And as you see, it's a complex uh, fracture. It will maybe be easier to see it in 3D. So I will go to 3D. You see it? Yes. OK, so I can rotate the image. And I will adjust the window level. As you can see here, it's basically remotely presented on the other computer. And we can watch the images in real time from here. <laughs> 